Hello and welcome back to the John Deal YouTube channel. I'm David OC and today we've come to the sunny south for a couple of reasons. So first of all, Dundee's trusted dealer network are of course nationwide and also because MSL Cork have teed us up an S-Class to test drive and I have to say at a first glance it looks phenomenal. The S-Class is the creme de la creme of cars so sit back because this is going to be a good one. Naturally, when you think of competitors for the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, you think of the Audi A8, the BMW 7 Series, but you don't really consider a three-bed Semi-D. And I've actually been on daft.ie and I found almost 100 houses for sale in Cork for the same price as this car. Because, now wait for it because it is a lot, the price of the Mercedes-Benz S-Class is 128,000 euros. However, remember this while watching the review. You can sleep in a car, but you can't drive a house. Before we take a look at the inside and go for a drive, let's talk about the design because the S-Class is incredibly subtle. And I think that's the theme throughout the whole car. It's inconspicuously beautiful. Now, if you look, when it comes to opening the doors, not that this is something you'll have to worry about because chances are you'll have a chauffeur, the door handles pop out. Very similar to a Tesla and that theme continues throughout the car. Check this out though, the soft touch close. As we continue to make our way down the side of the car, it definitely has a huge amount of presence. The wheels being the AMG are a little bit more aggressive and of course the grille really stands out and pops. It is a little bit different to some of the rest of the cars on the Mercedes lineup. And one really cool feature that they save for the S-Class is the pop-up badge, which reminds you of the old classic Mercedes-Benz. We begin our tour of the inside of the S-Class in the rear, because the chances are you might end up sitting there. Now let's cover the basics. The doors open wide, and there are actually isofix points. However, you're probably going to be a grown up individual being chauffeured about. Now, as you can see, I have tons of knee room and believe it or not, this isn't even the long wheelbase and the majority of S-Classes sold around the world are. Now, in terms of comfort, well, the seat, I feel like I'm sitting on an Emirates first class flight to Dubai. Loads of knee room, loads of headroom, really bright and vibrant. You've got an armrest here, which even just watch the way it goes down. So smooth and elegant. You've got a little bit of storage in there. You've got climate control, a bit of a pouch, and on the doors, you've got heated seats in the rear. Overall, 10 out of 10 for the interior. The interior of the S-Class. My, oh my, is this beautiful. So let's begin with the seat. As you can see, there's the diamond stitching. Now that actually used to be quite a pricey upgrade on the previous S-Class. Now in the seventh generation, it comes as standard. In fact, on this entire car, there are two extras. The first is the beige leather. I think that's about 400 euro. And the second is the wall nut finish on the dash, which is about 500 euro. So everything else, comes as standard and it's so nice. So let's begin by looking at what happens when I click the engine start. My seat moves forward into position. And of course there's three memories here and you adjust it here as you please. I believe there's 16 different motors operating the seat so you can get into the ultimate position. So that is incredibly impressive. Now, there's also ambient lighting. I don't know if it's showing too well because it's daytime, but you can of course change that color to suit you. A nice feature as well is when you're turning the heat up, it goes red, turning the heat down, it goes blue. In terms of storage, so you've got your usual two drink holders here. You've got a spot for your phone, wireless charging, two USB-C ports, open that. And again, it just opens in such a nice and elegant way. In here, you've got two more USB-C chargers and a bit more storage. A big glove box, again, it all just feels so good. And can we talk about this steering wheel? It is drop-dead gorgeous. Now, I can see 
if you're a female and you're wearing fake tan or makeup, it could get on it, which is maybe something to look out for. Maybe a black one might suit you better, but in the beige, it looks phenomenal. It's so, so nice. Now, let's talk about the infotainment. It is insane. So, Jeremy Clarkson, one of the world's most known motoring journalists, once said, an S-Class is an example of everything that can be done and everything that everyone else will be doing very soon. And I think that's a great way to describe it. So you've got this big screen, funnily enough, very similar to a Tesla, but it has its own operating system and it is incredible. You've got haptic feedback on the touch, so it feels like a mouse on an Apple computer or something like that. Really, really nice feeling. And that's the theme throughout. Everything just feels so incredibly premium. Now, it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. However, it's one of the few cars you don't need that. The navigation system, it's phenomenal. I'll show you a little bit more about that later in the video. You've got your phone connectivity, the radio, everything you can imagine is there. And the easiest way to break it up is at the bottom down here, you basically have your climate control. So you can adjust the heating, you can do whatever you want down there. Then you've got your kind of different apps and features there. And then over here on the steering wheel, again, you can control most of it. So on the left hand side, you've got your music, your volume, and actually you can control this monitor using these nice soft touch buttons on the steering wheel. And then on the right hand side of the steering wheel is where you get all the information in front of you on this screen. So two large screens. And there you can do everything from your maps. You can change it from the Mercedes classic look to the exclusive look to the sporty look. You can literally do anything in this car, completely customize it to suit you. We could talk all day about the infotainment system, but my advice is find out where there's a Mercedes dealer near you, go down to them. They're really great people. They'll be able to run you through it far better than I will. And it's definitely worth doing if for entertainment or nothing else. Another cool feature is the boot. I mean, yes, you can expect nothing less than an electronically open and closing one, but even just the finish in here, it's like a sitting room carpet. It's so, so nice and it does lift up. There is no spare wheel, but the chances are if you're buying an S-Class, you probably know a guy who will get to you very, very fast. Now for the fun part, driving the S-Class. So as you pull off, Naturally, it feels really, really smooth. The six-speed manual, just making sure you're paying attention. Of course, it's an S-Class. It would have nothing other than an automatic gearbox with nine different gears. So it's really smooth and you don't notice going up or down gears. Now this has a 2.9 liter diesel engine, which absolutely runs phenomenally smoothly. You don't hear it. There's no diesel clatter or anything like that. It pairs beautifully with the gearbox. It is, of course, available with a petrol engine, a hybrid version, and soon there will even be probably this S63 with the big, shouty, loud V8. But for now, these six cylinder, it just drives magnificently and it's more than enough. As you put the foot down, there's 286 brake horsepower, which is more than enough to overtake or take off as quickly as you really would need to. And the hybrid option could be a good version. Believe it or not, Mercedes have actually been doing hybrids since 1906. They had kind of a bit of a, a play around with the idea called the mixed, but I've completely gone off topic. So anyway, back to the S-Class and driving. That's the power, that's the engine sorted. How does it feel to drive? So as I said earlier, over here you've got your cruise control. Now, as you can imagine, naturally it comes standard with adaptive cruise control. So when the car in front of you slows down, your car will slow down. It also comes with lane assist. So right now, I have it on lane assist. And as you can see, my hands are off the steering wheel. I don't advise doing this and it's taking the corner. So it's really, really kind of tapping in to that whole concept about self-driving and in fact, the laws don't allow it, but if you wanted to, you can spec the Mercedes so that it could basically drive you anywhere you like by just entering the destination in the sat-nav. Laws don't allow it, but it is a possibility. The ride is something that we can't gloss over, and I will talk more about it a little bit later in the review, but 
the air suspension oh my goodness it is just it's literally like driving a boat on a calm lake it just cruises over you could put a speed bump we could have just gone over a speed bump i wouldn't even know it's literally that smooth it's absolutely sublime the built-in sat nav is something that you'll definitely use and the reason being is it's got augmentative reality so effectively as you pull up to a set of lights it will display the image and everything going on here and it's just a really nice cool feature another really cool feature now as you look when we come up to a roundabout is the adaptive cruise control fully works around town so most of these cars after about 30 kilometers when you go below that they don't really work they kind of cut off but here i've come to a complete halt and now the truck in front of me is pulled off and the s-class pulls off as well it's really really impressive to do it at slow speeds like this phenomenal i'm basically a passenger now at this point in every review we discuss some of our favorite and our least favorite things about the car we're reviewing but this is a mercedes-benz s-class so i don't really want to roast it because it is the creme de la creme However, I will tell you one funny story, and it is that a friend of mine works in a Mercedes dealership outside of Ireland, and long story short, he had a brand new S-Class come in a few weeks ago, it went out, they put it on the forecourt, the customer was coming, it was fully sanitized, all set to go, and they left the two keys on the armrest in the center when the customer arrived. Well, unfortunately, the car decided to lock itself and they had to ring some local fishermen who were able to stick some hangers and hooks through the sunroof and fish them out. But it wasn't the most ideal scenario and I just thought it is a pretty funny story. And the second thing that I'd say is my least favorite is that unfortunately, I don't have one. Now, we're sitting in a 125,000 euro S class. So I'm not going to name a load of things that I don't like. And I'm gonna really nitpick to find three. Number one is the stock. Now, it's very similar to the Tesla and I don't have an issue with it. I actually quite like it when it comes to driving it. However, it's opposite. So to go forward, you push it down and to go backwards, you push it up. Now, that's the opposite of any boat I've ever driven. And it's just a bit random. Here are a couple of features that I absolutely adore about the S-Class. And number one on that list is that it's air suspension. So air suspension means you can adjust the height, but not only that, it rides incredibly smoothly. Now, it actually takes it one step further and there are cameras mounted underneath the rear view mirror, which read the road ahead predict the bumps and soften or stiffen the suspension to make sure you have the most crisp ride as you're driving along. Next up is these tail lights. So the attention to detail in each little lamp is absolutely stunning. And what's more is when you unlock it, it swoops. Very similar to an Audi, but somehow more premium. The starting price of the S-Class is 123,000 875 euros and i love that this one is only 128 grand they haven't gone mental with the spec because you don't need to yes you can add a panoramic roof you can get the advantage package the premium plus package but the reality is the opening version is more than enough so there you have it we are parked back at msl and actually the S-Class, it parked itself. It's got some amazing features. And I hope you've enjoyed this review. And if you have, please let us know in the comments, give us a like, subscribe. And of course, if you'd like to search for Mercedes-Benz S-Classes or any Mercedes for that matter, check out the link on the top right-hand corner where all of our trusted dealer network around the country can help you out and get you in to your next car. For now, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.